guys, CP Morty here back with another video. So I get asked all the time, how do you make a USB drive bootable to install an operating system or piece of software on my computer? So today we're going to show you how to do exactly that. Now before we go ahead and jump into how to do it, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to actually go ahead and create a bootable installer. First we're going to need to identify our computer that we're going to be installing our operating system onto. In this case we're going to be using a desktop with a blank hard drive. In that case, we're going to also too need to grab ourselves a second computer so we can go ahead and actually set up the bootable USB. We're also too going to need the USB drive itself at the moment and at the time of recording, 8 gigabytes is just enough. But as file sizes increase and in the future, you may be wanting to get a larger drive. So do check the date stamp down below as to when this video was uploaded and also to take a look at the file sizes when you are watching this video. In the future, I can definitely guarantee you that 8GB will not be sufficient enough to create this drive, but at the time of recording, 8GB should be just fine. Also too, we're going to need to grab ourselves our ISO file. Depending on what it is, you'll be able to find it at different websites. If you're looking to install Linux, then check out these sites for Linux. If you are looking to install Windows 10, then look for an ISO download for Windows 10. If you are a student, you may have access to Microsoft's DreamSpark that gives you an even bigger library of Microsoft files you can download. But all the links that you need to download will be down below. Speaking of downloading, we're also too going to need to download one final piece of software known as Universal USB Installer. This is the program we're going to use to actually set up our USB. So once the ISO Universal USB Installer has been downloaded and also too with gathered all our materials, we can go ahead and get started. So as we can see here on our desktop, we have our Windows 10 ISO and also too we have the Universal USB install a program right here. First thing we're going to do is actually not do anything with that and plug in our memory stick we want to use. We're then going to open it up in the Windows Explorer program and make sure there's nothing on there that we want to keep. Because we are creating a bootable USB, we have to get rid of everything on that memory stick, otherwise it won't work. So if you have some sort of file that you want to keep on that memory stick, copy it to your desktop, copy it to your documents folder or just get it off the USB entirely because we will be watching wiping it. Once we've verified there's nothing on the memory stick that we want to keep, we can go ahead and open up Universal USB Installer. We're going to click Accept on the first window and we're going to be brought to this screen, which we're going to click on Agree to. Once we've gone ahead and clicked Agree, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and select what version of operating system we want to install. Now, Universal USB Installer is designed for Linux, but don't let that confuse you as you can actually set up Windows and even OS X with this program. For Windows, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the version of Windows we want to create. So for us, we're going to select Windows 10 Installer. Once we've gone ahead and clicked that, number two step has gone ahead and lit up. We're going to go ahead and locate our ISO on the desktop. Once we've clicked that, we're going to click OK. Once that's done, we're going to go down to the final box and click on the memory stick we want to use. Once that's selected, we're going to go ahead and click Create and it's going to walk us through the rest of the steps. We're going to accept any prompts that comes up and we're going to go ahead and watch the bar climb all the way up to the top. Once we've gone ahead and created the bootable USB, we can now unplug it from the computer we were just using and head over to our desktop or other computer we want to install the operating system onto. We're first going to plug in the memory stick into a USB 2.0 connection because at the time of recording, not that many biases actually support USB 3. So USB 2 is usually the way to go. Once it's connected up to that, we're going to go ahead and hit the power button and get into the BIOS of our computer. This can usually be done by hitting the delete key on boot. Boot. Once we're there, we're going to go ahead and select the memory stick that we just created as our booting device. Once we do that, we can boot into the USB installer and install our version of Windows. Now, if you're wanting to do Linux, it's basically the same procedure as what we've just done. Set up the installer, install it, and you're basically good to go. And even the same thing with Mac OS X. And with that being said, that is the super easy way to create yourself a bootable USB drive. Now, USB drives are way faster than C 
CDs, DVDs and really anything else. And the only thing that's really faster is an SSD which can be created in the exact same way as what we just did with our bootable USB. Though with that being said, SSDs are a lot more expensive and I'd personally rather have a USB drive than an SSD. Now one thing to note is once you've finished this process, if you don't want that USB to be a bootable one anymore, all you have to do is delete all the files on the memory stick and you can use it as a normal memory stick once again. And with that being said guys, thanks for watching. If you have any problems during this project, let me know down below, I'll be more than happy to help. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. What?